I mean, with a name like Banshee, how can you not be drawn in? I mean, Cinemax, man, you know, it's like, you know, something crazy, exciting, uh, sexy, violent, and it's wow, it's crazy, it's Banshee, man. <laughs> These small, bucolic towns, they look pretty, they look great on postcards, but I think every single one of them has some nasty stuff going on. I mean, I grew up in a small town, and I know of some stuff that went on in that town that, you, ooh. You wanna see Hanson? Well, there he is. That's Hanson's hand. Fucking Adam's family, right? Benchy is a town of secrets. So many secrets in Banshee. A lot of scandal, a lot of secrets, a lot of sex. A lot of eerie stuff, a lot of twisted stuff happening in Banshee. A fictional town in Pennsylvania where nothing good happens. There's no good people there. <laughs> You can't just do that, right? He's waving. Yeah. It's a small town that has a larger county that incorporates a Native American community. We have the Amish community. We have uh, Nazi skinheads. Thug criminals. We have a Ukrainian mafia. Not a town you want your car to break down in. You seem angry. I don't like to see a black man with a badge stepping into their white world. Oh. Um, if I had to describe the town of Banshee to my friends, I'd probably say don't go there. Hey, it's okay, guys. He's one of us. His wife is white. Banshee is actually a female spirit who is a bringer of bad news. So I suppose they call the town Banshee because it's just full of the most dreadful people. I mean, for goodness sakes, we have a, an ex-Amish person who's our resident bad guy. You gotta love that. The old order of Pennsylvania Dutch don't like being called Dutchies. It's derisive. I believe I heard you call my father a fucking Dutchie. I was just running my mouth. I, I didn't know he was your father. <coughs> Writing the show is a way to vent your inner sociopath, and, uh, and I enjoy doing that from time to time. <laughs> Now you take your teeth and put them back in your fat, bigger than mouth, and get the fuck out of here. Back in your mouth, I said. I'm, I'm trying to think there's possibly one person who has any redeeming qualities from the point of view of morals. <laughs> a couple of young innocents. But apart from that, we're all terrible people. There are people doing bad things, but the people who, in episode two, you think are the villains, you might find yourself sympathizing with by episode seven or eight, and Lucas, who's ostensibly, ostensibly the hero, you're gonna, you're gonna see him doing some, some pretty bad stuff. Hello, is that you? Shot fired. It's a funny town because there's, there's a lot of seemingly normal Americans, but there's also quite a few scumbags. You cop! What the fuck are you doing? I personally find that strata way more interesting to watch on TV than all the people who pay their bills and, you know, go to church on Sunday and watch their cars once a week. Now, I would want to be one of those normal people, but I want to watch the sick, twisted underside of things for my entertainment. <laughs> yeah.